Hello and welcome to another LEGO Batman Movie Bootleg Set Review. This is from Pogo again, PG1862193. Uh, we have the, uh, forgot her name, one of the villains, Tarantula Lady thing here. Uh, remember his name, Eraserhead, because he's such a unique one. So she's got size, he's got a little notepad there. Uh, we've got the calculator. Uh, we have Robin here who uh, wore this suit during the uh, suit picking, costume picking montage. Now, LEGO has not officially released this figure, however you can make your own. First, you need the Barbara Gordon with the little bat signal logo, of course. Uh, I think there is a spare piece in that uh, minifigure poly bag that you can get. And then you need any amount of um, just sort of generic sort of Robin heads uh, or expressions. Uh, and then the armor piece there, you can get that from the Riddler chase set uh, where you have a, um, a a Black Widow woman there, like a Spider Woman there. Uh, so you take the army from her, get a regular sort of Batman body, so you've got the yellow belt and the you know, muscle pack, uh, swap the hands out for <laughs> flesh colored hands, and put that armor on, stick the little bat logo there, and you can put some bat wings on the back, and there you go, you get this suit. So this one from the bootleg is pretty much good for convenience sake or if you know if you want to build your own with official Lego you go out to get either get a second set or just some spare figures to do that. Uh, we have a Roman sort of centurion Batman so that's kinda cool. Um, the shield and, and sword and cape uh, the shield he's holding does have sort of bat logos printed on there that's pretty neat. Uh, we have a SWAT team Barbara Gordon there a sort of uh, Standards Police Uniform Papa Gordon, and we have a Two Face uh, at the end who has who has to come to an Uzi from uh, the you know classic Lego Batman sets. Now, uh, as of this release, when you know when they were making this, there was no Harvey Dent or Two Face figure yet from Lego. They were sort of there is now in the later sets, the second wave of Lego Batman movie sets, but there wasn't in Wave One, so they sort of just made their own. Uh, the hair piece is molded from the official. So sort of Two Face one because there was Two Face in the Arkham set, just you didn't have the uh, Two Face suit, so you did have the hairpiece in the face. But they, since they went with uh, probably some uh, Lego fans custom work on the internet that did a red suit, they gave him a red face instead. So he's he's not Billy Dee Williams, he's not you know a black Two Face Harvey Dent, he's a white one. And uh, if anything, the suit uh, reminds me more from the, of the Dark Knight uh, movie. Two Face because it's red, his face is red and more sort of burnt and scarred, so uh, that's a thing. As always, every one of these figures comes with a spare minifigure hand as well as the minifigure stand slash plate you see that they are standing on, which is a 3x4 plate with a 1x4 stud going through the middle. So, uh, the woman left here is uh, printed pretty well done, so is the razor head and then the man that. Um Little calculator, kind of no calculator. Uh, the little calculator is printed pretty well, but there's no numbers on it or anything. There's, you can sort of see a plus and equal on there, but that's about it. And the back logo is also printed pretty well there. The pink on top there is not the same pink as Lego. In fact, it almost feels like it's so cheap that um, it's a little bit transparent, so it does look off compared to the official one. So that's unfortunate. Uh, there are arm printing on them, so uh, she has arm printing, he has both arm and leg side printing. And uh, calculator has that as well. And here they are without their gear. I'll say with the uh, Robin thing, uh, the clutch on the wings are very tight. More often than not, you uh, pull the uh, stud on the back off from the armor. You, know, you pull the wing and that off instead of just rotating it. So that gets a little bit annoying. The clutch is also a little bit loosened by the belt buckle, uh, which uh, isn't too bad, but it's definitely more noticeable than some of the other ones. Uh, but here they are, they all look pretty good underneath, the print job's done pretty well, Robin's face is pretty good as well. These four here are pretty cool, um, Century Batman's probably the one I'll keep from this set just because it's one of the weird bat suits that uh, you know were seen or mentioned in the movie but were never produced as an actual Lego minifigure. But for some reason his arms, hands and feet are all completely white, I'm not sure what's going on there, why it's so white. Uh, unfortunately, the one I have here, the bat logo especially, is printed slightly off center, so the coloring and the lining is a little bit off, and that's really annoying. Uh, the, all the other figures are printed pretty excellently. Uh, Two Faces' face it seems a little bit squash, uh, probably due to, to the fact that it's not an official LEGO design, so they weren't quite sure what scale to go with. And the uh, the black and white hair is a little bit distracting compared to the red and gray suit. Doesn't feel like it's fitting too well. Anywho. 
Underneath the gear, you can see uh, Bob Gordon in the SWAT there uh, doesn't have any printing details whatsoever underneath. Batman head, Batman's head is also very ghostly white. Uh, she does have arm painting all the way around to simulate the dual colored plastic, but uh, and it's, that's it really. Uh, there is a little yeah, a gold badge printed on the side of this one's arm and this side as well. Uh, and then there's no side print on Bat Century Batman, however, again, to simulate the dual molding, this time on the legs, they paint it red all the way across. So, uh, it does look neat, the effect. See that on the back on some of these figures, just some smudge marks, which is okay, because you're normally going to have the helmet on, so you're not really going to notice it. Uh, no secondary face for Robins, which is a bit disappointing, no back print for Eraser Head. Uh, there is back print for her, and it's pretty detailed. I will say this uh, this purple here is simulating the dual plastic. It's not actually dual molded plastic. It's just painted purple on white, and they've done a pretty job on this one and the uh, Bat Century Batman figure. Too much back printing detail on most of these. Uh, you got some basic pattern for Barbara Gordon there, and Centurion has the red color printed all around to simulate you know the legs. Um, just basic suit pattern for Two Face. They could have skipped that. I wouldn't have made a difference to me, to be honest. And since there's no back body, uh, any body print on Barbara Gordon, I just put the police armor there so you can see there's printing on both sides on the armor pack. The face is printed pretty well except for the colors. Uh, so the shape is good but the colors are wrong. They've uh, left out colors. They've chosen less colors. There's only black, white and there's red color here. So the two lines between her eyebrows are the fold of the skin as well as the little mole is uh, also the red color. That's the same as her lips, which just looks wrong and cheap. Pretty decent set. Most interesting figure here is the Centurion Batman. Uh, and the second one is probably the Robin figure, just because it makes it easier for you to create this figure without having to hunt for spare figures or different parts here and there. And uh, Two-Face is pretty good, I guess, for a custom design. But uh, we have plenty of actual Two-Face figures from official sources and copies of the official ones, as well as numerous different versions from previous bootlegs. So uh, depending on how much, how many different versions of Two-Face you want, maybe this figure is pretty interesting too. The clutch overall on these figures are all pretty decent, and the print jobs are overall satisfactory. Uh, just um, a little bit of niggles here and there. Not the best pogo set around compared to some of the other ones. Some of the other ones I've copied really well. But uh, it's not a bad set either, at least it has uh, some interesting characters not found uh, in official sources or other bootlegs just yet. Subscribe to Justin Card below and of course take care, have a nice day, I'll see you guys same bad time, same bad channel.